Hi guys, today on D Whisk and Cook, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite kind of mashed potatoes, cream cheese mashed potatoes. Oh my god, they are so good, nice and thick, yet fluffy and light. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by washing and scrubbing our potatoes really good. I get kind of OCD with cleaning potatoes. They never feel clean to me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I hate that feeling. Next, we're gonna go ahead and peel them. And I'm using russet potatoes because russets are the best for mashed potatoes, okay? Forget what you heard, russets are the bomb. My potatoes are a bit green, but that's okay. They were still good in my book. Okay, next we're gonna slice our potatoes lengthwise into even size strips, okay? Not cubes, this time we're gonna use nice even size strips like that. Perfect, place them into a pot and then we're gonna cover them with chicken broth. Instead of salted water, we're gonna use chicken broth. It's gonna add a lot of flavor and it won't taste like chicken, I promise, okay? Don't forget you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog, thewisomcook.com with a ton of other recipes. So go on over there and check it out. And here's the broth that I use, you guys. It's called Better Than Bouillon. I love this stuff, it's like a paste. And then you just add water to it, love it. Okay, we're gonna place our potatoes on the eye, bring it to a bowl, and then we're gonna reduce the heat and simmer them for about 30 minutes until they are super, super, super soft, just like that, okay? And a fork or a knife should glide through like a hot comb through fresh naps, okay? It should be so soft. And it's totally okay to overcook these potatoes. You don't wanna undercook them at all. Go ahead and drain them in a colander, and then we're gonna return them back to that hot pot and then place them right back on the eye and let them steam for a bit to get rid of some of that extra water because water and mashed potatoes are not besties, honey. They do not get along, so you don't want that in your mashed potatoes. Now we're going to go ahead and mash them up once. Mash, mash each potato. I can't even talk. Mash each potato up once and then stop. You gotta know when to put that masher down. I know it's fun, but we want thick mashed potatoes, not gluey, okay? And the more you work it, the glueier it becomes, all right? So know when to stop. Next, we're gonna add in some chopped up butter that I have chopped up nice and cute and little so that they melt really quickly. And you can use a rubber spatula, kinda, you know, toss it around a bit, very gently. Next, I'm gonna add in some chopped up cream cheese. Okay, go ahead and throw that in there. I'm gonna toss this around very gently. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in enough half and half to get the texture that I like, okay? So go ahead and add your half and half in there and mash it up a little bit. Use your spatula to kinda stir it up a little bit, but not too much, okay? Not too much, all right? Then you can add in some salt and pepper. I didn't add in anything. I thought it was perfectly seasoned. And here is the texture that I like. I don't like mashed potatoes that are like baby food. I can't, I can't do that. From the South, we like things thick and chunky like our bootes, okay? This is perfect. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of butter because I already have a muffin top, so why not? All right, that's perfect. And there we have it. Nice, fluffy, thick mashed potatoes. Stick to your ribs type mashed potatoes. Goes great with some gravy and in some bacon, cheese, whatever. These are perfect and they are so flavorful. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.